Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6 and also Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about what is in the title, so yeah. If you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So you're probably not going to enjoy this video, but anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So the information that we have is extremely reliable, the link will be in the description below to the official article that was released by the CW. So it's been said that Supergirl is going to be ending and Melissa is set to leave and I'm so annoyed. Seriously, all out of words. I can't believe this is happening. So yeah, Melissa is set to leave Supergirl after its sixth season it has been reported and this is partially due to her having her maternity leave being set to finish around November time and normally they would film around June slash, you know, really early July. And we've been talking about this, you know, the scheduling issues and everything being completely messed up. And so the CW has stepped in and they've decided to come and cancel the show. So we knew that they probably wouldn't be able to start filming season 7 until November time. And sort of therefore you could assume that the episodes would have aired in the mid-season premiere slot around January time. So that is what could have been and what I was hoping was going to happen and I'm sure most of you guys were hoping they would like figure out the schedule because they don't actually know when they're going to be able to get back into Vancouver, film there, obviously it's in Canada, most of the actors are actually from America or live in America so basically right now the borders are shut they can't actually go there so with all this trouble they've made the executive decision to actually not air the next season to not actually go ahead and film anything and they've just cancelled the show which is completely shitty and completely against what everyone wants and it's a terrible decision so basically we kind of hoped that everything would be sorted out you know they'll be able to film around November time and everything would have been good but obviously this didn't happen and they've decided to cut the cord on the show due to these technicalities and to ease the network into their programming for next season is what they specifically said in the quote. Like, to ease the network? How is it going to ease the network if you release a different show like Stargirl or something instead of Supergirl, which is one of the CW's best shows? So it makes absolutely no sense and I'm completely against this decision. And I'm sure all of you are really, really pissed off that they've cancelled the show, which is one of their best shows. And it's also the fact that Supergirl does so well for the CW in that I think it was last year or the year before, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, they actually had the highest rate of advertisements. So basically they made the most money out of the advertisements compared to any other show. Yeah, The Flash has more viewers and you know, Riverdale, I think, has a little bit higher viewers, but, you know, the fact that the advertisements were so high, and they just decided to make sort of this brash decision just to end the show, really rubs me the wrong way, and I'm sure it rubs most of you guys the wrong way as well. And so, in addition to this, if you check out the article, you can actually see that they were planning to actually bring some of these massive characters back on a permanent basis. So, if you scroll down to about halfway through the article, you can see that it was said they were planning to bring back some of these massive characters, including Wynn, Maggie, and Monel. And it was just announced that the CW, via this article, would have dragged these actors back to Vancouver to forcibly film an episode count of about 20 episodes is what it said in the article so they would have literally just dragged the actors out there and they would have made them stay and just film those episodes or you know they would never come back to the CW so it was sort of like a kind of strange situation where obviously Chris works on some of the other CW shows and he wouldn't be able to do anything like that if he didn't come back as a full-time character on Supergirl so also obviously with that they were planning to make sure Chris couldn't do any of his other filming. Same for Floriana Lima who plays Maggie, she would have not been able to film any other show if she didn't come back. Same thing goes for Jeremy Jordan who obviously wouldn't be able to do Broadway if he didn't return for Supergirl. And that's a massive thing for him because obviously he loves Broadway and obviously he would have came back to Supergirl just so he could go back to Broadway. And so there's also been loads of talk over the years, if you remember, I've done lots of videos about this, all these fake and clickbait outlets have been announcing and basically telling everyone, oh, Supergirl is supposedly getting cancelled and axed, 
Well, it seems like with everything going on and this article actually confirming Supergirl has been cancelled and Melissa is leaving the show, these outlets are going to have a field day. They're going to be dancing in the meadows with their sunflowers and tulips and they're going to be extremely happy and I am obviously not very happy about that. And I'm sure you guys aren't happy about that, but I'm sure those guys are extremely happy, which is obviously not a good thing. Anyway, so it seems like Melissa will continue to look after her child once her child is born and once she's finished with her maternity leave. And she will go back actually to Los Angeles. She's going to live there and she's going to be holding on to her powers, it's been said. And she is going to be able to possess the powers of Supergirl during her tenure as a real life hero. And she has said, and I quote, I will go on protecting the world as Supergirl specifically los angeles where i currently reside so you may see me up in the sky and that is the end of the quote so i'm really happy for melissa and to all the people who continue seeing her as the tissue role of supergirl and for me and everyone else though it's going to be a sad day that we're not going to see her back on the screen again obviously it's going to be really good for you guys who live in los angeles you're going to be able to see melissa as supergirl flying around in the sky she's going to be saving people as she said in this article when she did this interview just a couple of days ago and so maybe we may see melissa flying around on the news but you know as in regards to the tv we're not going to really see her ever again obviously we may see her you know on some other shows and such you know flying around or whatever but as of right now in regards to supergirl it's not going to happen again because the cw have announced via this article that the show is no more and that we're not going to be able to see anything else from Supergirl which is a massive shame because season 7 obviously had a lot going for it obviously you would finish this season it's been pretty good so far then you would see like they announced the return of Wynn, Maggie and mon and it would be more like season 2 it was said and so perhaps they may have got back some of the past viewers who left after all these major characters just slowly started leaving and now all we're left with is Supergirl, obviously Kara, Alex and John who were the original cast members and everyone else has left you know some have come back here and there like Wynn came back for a brief period of time this season for three episodes mon came back for one episode and you know we haven't even seen like Maggie again or anything like that so season 7 was the chance to actually go back to that and I wish that it could have been that way but it's mainly down to the scheduling issues and you know the CW having I guess less confidence in the show considering you know when they would have had to air the season maybe they would have had to skip actually season 7 and like go around to October time next year and release it then but they just you know were brash about it and they didn't want to continue the show which is a massive shame and so with this the question comes into mind what about the other cw shows if they have no confidence in supergirl which is one of their best shows and one of the best shows in terms of advertisements what are they going to do to the other shows is the flash in danger is legends of tomorrow in danger is batwoman is black lightning you know what is going to happen to all these shows considering that they're in a similar situation in that they don't know when they can actually go back to film so what happens if they cut the cord on those shows and everything goes to shit and basically they lose all the dc tv shows there is a high chance that that could happen considering that they did this to supergirl and it was already confirmed that supergirl would return for season seven and now they've just been like no it's not going to come back anymore so you know, we have to keep in mind what might happen to our other Arrowverse shows at this point. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Obviously, this is not a good video. I didn't really enjoy making it because it's terrible news. But, you know, nevertheless, I got to keep you guys updated. And also, I'll be sure to keep you updated as in regards to the other shows and what's going to be happening with Melissa next. And also, obviously, Melissa as Supergirl, like... We're going to see her around, so maybe I can make some videos on her flying around sort of Los Angeles area. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that amazing video. Uh, it was 100% real. I hope you have fun. Happy April Fool's Day, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha. I see red.